Hey, what's going on? Ray Del Vecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com. I put together this fancy animation to show you how web hosting is nothing more than a house for your website. The address of the house is the equivalent to your domain name. That's how people find you. The home itself, that's represented by your website host. That's where your website's going to be stored. And then you got your stuff, all the stuff that goes into the house, those are your website files. With real estate, the impulse is to buy more than you need as a status signal. And I don't think you should do this online because in the digital world, your domain and your hosting, they're really nothing more than entry to the game. And when you spend too much up front for the tech, you don't have enough for home maintenance or keeping things up to date using that home analogy. Really what matters is everything that you do after you launch. So that's when I cringe when I hear people trash some of the bigger companies out there they're the most affordable and they're the most reliable. You don't have to spend a ton of money to get your website set up. In fact, it's a lot cheaper than you probably think. In most cases, you can get set up for the price of a coffee each month. Plus, the great thing about web hosting is that you're always renting. You're not buying. And that means that you can move from host to host. You can upgrade after any payment term is up if you need to. Now, since I've been around, I've used about 10 web hosting companies. And today, I'm going to give you my four best recommendations that are simple to use for beginners and easy to get set up. And here's just a few assumptions. We're going to go with one domain and one website. You might have a project that requires multiple websites. And all of these companies that we'll discuss today have options for that. But for the pricing that we talk about, this is what it's for. And of course, anytime you go for a longer term, you're going to get a better price. So if you can afford it, I recommend registering for the longest term you possibly can. In most cases, this is going to be three years. And some of these companies offer month-to-month -month options while others make you go for a longer term. But like I said before, when it comes to a website, what you do after launch matters a lot. If you go for that longer term, even in your own head, you're putting a larger investment into the website and there's a much higher chance that you're going to stick with it and build it out. I found that to be the case with almost everybody that I've worked with who has launched their own website. And lastly, you got to be ready to learn. You have to have that mindset of a beginner where if you hit problems, you find out how to get past them and figure out what the solutions are. If you stop at the first roadblock along the way, that's not a good sign. Don't be alarmed if it takes you a little bit longer to learn at the beginning. That's the way it is for everybody, including myself. So let's jump into the reviews for each of my recommendations. So the first company here is HostGator, and this is the company that I moved to after I went with a couple smaller companies, and one of them actually shut down without even informing their customers, completely lost access to the website I had been building, but luckily at that point, I didn't have any clients. It was just a little, you know, small personal project. So when that happened, I decided to move over to one of the bigger companies because reliability was really big for me. At first, I was choosing completely based on price. And nowadays, HostGator is so big that they give you the best of both worlds. They're the most affordable way to start your website. The price here for a 36-month term is $275 a month. And they give you unmetered space and bandwidth. So unless you're really going to be a power user and push the limits of their servers, you don't have to worry about either of those things. So I highly recommend them to get started. I still have many of my local client websites on HostGator. And just a quick note, I'm an affiliate with all of these companies. That means that I do get a commission if you sign up using my links. And that goes to support my website to make sure that I can create free tutorials and content like this video. I also have a free training series to learn WordPress that I'll mention at the end of the video. So stick around for that. And even though I mentioned the three-year discount, if you want to just go for one year, you can get a better than advertised price by using my coupon code, which is WPC3. So if you either use that coupon code or go to the link below, which is WebsiteProfitCourse.com slash HostGator, you can get set up with their Hatchling Plan Package. And I'll link up a video here that shows you exactly how to set up your account and install WordPress. The other thing I want to share here is some data on the speed of the website. So this is a client website of mine that I've been managing for probably something like 10 years now. And we started as an HTML website and we converted it to WordPress probably about five to six years ago. And this is a, a look at his website speed. So this is a photo heavy website, a local client. Like I said, it doesn't get a ton of traffic. I would say probably on average, maybe anywhere between 20 to 40 visitors a day. We've also advertised before, which has bumped that number up. But on average here, this is showing you the time in milliseconds. And you can see that the average 
time to download a page is about 990 milliseconds. So it's just about a second. And the high here is 1.5 seconds. The next company here is Bluehost. And here's a fun fact, I don't know if you know this, but WordPress powers something like 30% of the internet. And if you translate that into a number, it's roughly 450 million websites. And so when WordPress recommends a company, I'm usually gonna take that pretty seriously. And the first one that they recommend is Bluehost. That's their primary company that they recommend that you start your WordPress website with. So that is coming right from the source. They're a little bit more expensive than HostGator, but still extremely affordable at $3.95 a month. And they have a slight upgrade on HostGator in that they're giving you a solid state hard drive for storage. They do limit that to 50 gigabytes instead of giving you unlimited, but they do give you unlimited bandwidth. I just set up a Bluehost website for my friend, and I'll link up that video where I set up his website and created a Bluehost account to install WordPress. And the cool thing about Bluehost is that they actually link your login information with your WordPress account, so you don't even need to log into WordPress. You can just log into Bluehost, and they have a one-click button to go right to your WordPress admin panel. So that's one feature they have that these other hosting companies do a little bit differently. Normally you have two separate accounts for your hosting company and your WordPress. So if you'd like to get set up with them, go to websiteprofitcourse.com slash Bluehost. The third company here is, I think the company that is most loved around the internet. I mean, I've never seen so many reviews of people who absolutely love this company and that's SiteGround. They are also one of the three companies to get recommended by WordPress itself. They have a lot of options built in and wizards to start your WordPress website. And you can see here, they also give you solid state storage. They give you a 10 gigabyte hard drive, which is more than enough for 95% of websites, you know, unless you're loading it up with ridiculously high quality images. And they do bandwidth instead of doing it based on a number, they do it based on visits. So it's 10,000 visits monthly. And as a beginner, you know, it's kind of a dream to get to that number. I think SiteGround is the best performance for the price out of all of these companies. I think if you have any issues setting up your site that they're going to go above and beyond to help you out. The last company recommendation I have here is the newest one, but I really love them. This is Kinsta and I moved my two blogs over from HostGator to Kinsta because I originally had all my sites, both personal and client websites on one package. And as my blog started getting more traffic around the globe, that was driving down the performance across every single website. So I decided to separate them. And I did research on companies that were a step above the basic plans that really focused on performance because that's what I needed. Two of the options I had were Kinsta and SiteGround. And I ended up going with Kinsta because they're 100% focused on WordPress optimization. With all the other hosting companies I mentioned before, you can actually do other apps. You can install other software besides WordPress. With Kinsta, it is 100% optimized to run your WordPress site as fast as possible. And so they offer a starter package for $25 a month. And they do, as far as I can tell, max one year term. So if you want to go month to month, that's going to be $30 a month. But usually if you're looking to upgrade to you know, a better host, you're in it for the long haul. So I would highly recommend that you go for their one year term. And they also give you 10 gigabytes of solid state storage. They give you double the bandwidth with about 20,000 visits monthly. And I had a couple issues transferring my website from HostGator to Kinsta. I was just unsure of a few things. And I can tell you their customer service, they also went above and beyond to help me with some technical issues that I think bigger companies may not have been as knowledgeable about because of the scale that they operate. And especially since they're WordPress focused, they could be a little bit more technical on the WordPress side. And one important note of Kinsta, because they're so focused on performance, they don't do email hosting. With all these other accounts, you can set up email you know, under your domain name. With Kinsta, you can still do it, but it's just they're not gonna host it. So they recommend either going with Google Suite or the way that I did it, which they actually provide a tutorial on how to do this, is use a free service called mailgun.com. I just went through their tutorial to set that up and my email's working perfectly. I just forward all my incoming emails to my Gmail account and I have it set up in my Gmail account to send through my domain name using this mail gun. So if you're 100% looking to increase the speed of your website, 
I think Kinsta is the best company that you can go with. Check them out at websiteprofitcourse.com slash Kinsta. And just to show you the results here, this is the speed of my website with the average being 340 milliseconds. And moving over to Kinsta improved my performance, I think it was something like 10 times. <laughs> you know, I was going through a period where the average download time had increased a lot because of the number of visits. You know, a shared package is not meant for super high traffic. It's meant for the people who want to get online fast and affordable with a reliable company. So there you go. If there's any big takeaway, it's that you shouldn't overthink this step. Believe me, the web host that you choose is not going to make or break your success. So if you want the most affordable option, go with HostGator. If you want to stick with WordPress recommended hosts, you can choose between SiteGround and Bluehost. And if you're looking to get the highest performance WordPress out of the box and have a little bit of money to spend, then Kinsta is going to be your best option. As I've recommended throughout this video, you want to get up to speed with the platform that you're going to be using to build your website. And in my case, I always recommend WordPress. It's what all the professional bloggers use and I would say probably 70 to 80 percent of small to medium sized businesses are built on WordPress. Very flexible and it makes it easy to manage content on your website. With WordPress you can move from host to host, gives you a lot more options and it's really a way to give you more control over your website. Really the most control that you can have over a website is by doing self-hosted WordPress where you choose your own web hosting company. So if you'd like to get free training on WordPress, I put together my top videos that will walk you through the system, explain it to you in simple terms. You can access that free training from WebsiteProfitCourse.com slash WP101, and I'll include a link here in the top right. And if you have a more specific goal of launching a blog, I went through all of the essential steps that I used to put together my blog, which has made me over $50,000. I bundled everything into just the essentials that you need to launch in 14 days. You can sign up for that free training at 14dayblog.com. I'll link that up here in the top right, and all the links covered in this video will be in the description below. Last but not least, if this video helped you out at all, give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in learning more about websites, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I make money online through my blog, but I also freelance with local web design clients. I've, I just find the website as the core of all these online marketing skills. It's a tremendous platform to learn digital skills and find a niche in this new economy. And I definitely believe that having a website is kind of the better version of a resume. Everybody should have one. Everybody should have a personal blog that they build on. So I think more people need to have those skills. And I hope you take the first step in that direction today.